Well, I'm not too happy about this because uh, these roads, uh, you know, these people just don't have any sort of like, there's no roundabouts, no traffic lights, and the other red traffic light you come across, they totally ignore anyway. Several crossings, I don't even know why they bother putting them there because they literally try and cross one and they'll just swerve around you, they don't give a shit. So, fortunately, these roads are really quiet and uh, yeah, should be okay, touch wood, as you do. I don't know if you can see it up ahead, but there's actual cable cars that you can take to the top of the mountain. Let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit. Yeah, it's cable cars up there that you can get if you want to go to the top of the mountain and you don't feel like climbing. Then uh, grab a cable car and take you to the top and you get a lovely view up there. Are we going to take a motorbike today? I'm on the back of a scooter. I've managed to kidnap someone with a scooter. I literally came here without any plans or anything there were a couple of islands i could choose but i do like to go off the beaten track uh, which is what i've done here it is so cheap you know you get a bowl of noodles for a pound you know beers about a pound fifty a bottle uh, the bars are absolutely fantastic we've got a few we've got a couple of nightclubs here nothing um massive which is great because to be honest my nightclub days are uh, coming to a very fast end um, but nice little bars, fantastic little bars, with full table, nice little restaurants, predominantly seafood, very big on their seafood here, they love their seafood, and that's good for me because I like seafood too. Snails, quite a variety of different snails and um, sea snails more than anything else. Yeah, I tend to... Uh, a little bit squirmish I mean I, I do like winkles and I do like whelks but these snails are massive and uh, verging on slugs basically and I don't really care the thought of eating a slug moving further into Butao getting off the coastal road and heading more town as you can see traffic lights are pointless having them because no one takes any notice of them but that's what makes it more exciting i guess if something gets in your way just uh, move around it anyway moving on gracefully lots of nice little restaurants shops look at that just pulled straight out right in front of you don't give a damn lovely do you know what, I, it's quite, I, I'd like to see the statistics on how many accidents there are in this, uh, on these roads because I think it's a pretty high, it must be pretty high. I mean, everyone seems to know what they're doing and fortunately I haven't seen any accidents as yet. But, you know what, it's, uh, it's quite frightening. Well, I just arrived in Phu Tao in um, Vietnam. I had to think where I was there for a minute. So I stopped off at a little restaurant and I'm going to try some Vietnamese noodles. It's costing me uh, about one pound for a bowl of noodles. Pretty damn cheap. Well, my noodle soup has arrived. Uh, put some chili in there. Have a little look in here, see what we've got. Um, some beef. I hope it's beef anyway. Um, mushroom. I've got a mixture of bean sprouts and some green stuff. I really, really don't know what it is. Um, but I'm going to try it. I've got some noodles in here and see what it's like. Well, my first meal in Phu Tao. Beef noodle soup, some stuff to chuck in it as well, which I'm gonna try a bit of this green stuff in it. Hell of it. Taste it, see what it is actually. A 
and gold blue. Ground shredded stuff here. You know what? Real good. Real good. I'm not just saying it. So full of flavour. coriander in there, sauces, just absolutely marvellous, I just don't know what, I didn't, wouldn't even know how to start, probably a chicken stock, totally different to Thai food, totally different to Thai taste, more coriander, yeah, for a pound, can't go wrong, first meal. And heading up the mountain, heading up the mountain in uh, Brutal, a lot of expats here retired and I can see why property is cheap, um, living simple, um, yeah. No hassle with police, all that kind of jargon. Just chill out, enjoy your life. Got some nice little restaurants. So heading up the mountain, that town at its best. Um, all my videos are financed by myself, so there is a link below if you want to buy me a coffee. It'd be really appreciated, and all goes towards helping my channel. Thank you very much. And moving on gracefully. So yeah, this is the little mountain road heading uh, to the top of the mountain of uh, Brutal. You can actually get a cable car up here, but being the country boy that I am, of course, I decided to take a scooter. But it's a little bit more scenic. Well, I think it is anyway. I've never been on a cable car, so uh, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm heading up the mountain. Boom, boom, Tao Mountain. Quite a steep hill, but gonna have a lovely view from the top. Hopefully. Famous last words. Fantastic for riding a little scooter around here. Oh look, a little monkey. So there you have it. You can buy some bananas here and feed the monkeys if you want. Dogs and all sorts of work, all sorts of happening around here. Cute little things. Don't want to get too close to these though because they will bite you. And uh, friendly as they may seem they're actually just scavenging and looking for food and don't really give a shit about you or your stuff I've got to be careful with my camera because they will actually snatch it out of my hand and ask for food back in return for me to get it back yeah they're a bit funny like that they're very clever
Vung Tau is actually a city. And uh, yeah, Vung Tau is a city. Quite a big city. Loads going on, typical city life. It's got two small mountains. And today I'm having a little mission up the second mountain. Check it out and see what the views from this second mountain are like. Yesterday I did the first mountain and uh, today I'm doing the second mountain. This is where I'm, I'm on park the bike. Very fortunate to be able to kidnap someone to ride me around and take me to all these places. It all comes at a cost of course. That goes without saying so yeah, if you want to buy me a coffee there's a link below. Thank you very much, would appreciate it. Look at that, absolutely amazing. There you have it, Vu Tao in all its glory. Vung Tao city, what a fantastic little city, big city this is. You've got everything going on here, your clubs, your um, bars, your restaurants, your street food, your markets, everything you want pretty much going on here. Um, as far as a tourist holiday destination, Mm, I think there are better places, but this is the closest beaches to Saigon and Ho Chi Minh. Um, so you do get a lot of Vietnamese people and expats visit here. Expats that live here because obviously it's much cheaper living, good living as well. Um, but a lot of people visit from Ho Chi Minh and Saigon during the weekends because it's the closest beaches to Ho Chi Minh and Saigon. So it's about an hour and a half away. Uh, the, ex, the, the perfect getaway for people who work or live in, in Saigon and uh, the perfect destination for people who want to retire and, and just live a peaceful, quiet life, quite cheap, quite easy. been great been a uh, been emotional <laughs> so much going on here I've only been here four days but I thoroughly enjoyed myself had a great time you know it's not really a, a tourist resort with loads of paradise beaches and that kind of thing but there is still a hell of a lot going on here fantastic bars fantastic restaurants and uh, yeah so much more well I'm heading back to Ho Chi Minh uh, Saigon it's gonna cost me about 10 quid on a coach it's only about an hour and a half from here and Chef Travels, Kevin Harrington, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>